All right, let's start over. Or, I mean, not start over, but continue. Uh, so we're gonna... Aw, oh, shit. I didn't save properly and I gotta do this again. Well, I'll stop recording for a few minutes. At least I got to go through the bean bonus room again. And at the end of the last video, I had 773 beans, but since I had a second shot this time, I now have 830. Let's check out that armor, too. Oh, never mind. Just another loading screen. I'm not sure why MSI Afterburner freezes on the previous frame instead of showing the loading screen properly. Oh well. Look, I think we've come out in the side chamber. I've heard about this room. These portraits provide shortcuts to every floor in the castle. I wonder how we can get the past one. Harry Potter. Just the person I was looking for. Hello, Fred. Where's George? Upstairs, minding the shop. Early Christmas present for you, Harry. It's the Marauder's Map. It'll help you find your way around Hogwarts. Wow! Thanks, Fred. You can press the tab key on your keyboard to bring up this map at any time. Come on, follow me upstairs. I'll lead you to the shop. And now we begin the process of... What the fuck happened? Oh, it's a save book. But yeah, anyways, now we're just going up to their shop, so whenever a character is leading you somewhere, they'll run much faster than you, which is at least better than having to wait for them instead. Wish me luck, Harry. I'm trying for all ten shields in the Carpe Retractum Challenge. I'll learn a go at the Bean Bonus Room. Oh, and you're probably going to bump into a lot of people on the way there. I'm just choosing to stop when they start saying something. The game isn't actually preventing me from running along. Oops, ran into a stair railing. That's brilliant of me. If you're planning on following me to the dungeons, following you into the dungeons? I'm literally running upstairs right now. I'm off to Fred and George's shop, seventh floor. Then why the fuck are you heading downstairs instead of going upstairs with us? I have a lot to do, you know. We'd better hurry along to Fred and George's shop. Okay, look, you literally have a time turner. I think you'll be fine, Hermione. Professor McGonagall, Professor Dumbledore. I am glad to see you feeling better, Harry. Thanks, Professor. You are probably aware the Dementors of Azkaban are here at Hogwarts on Ministry of Magic business. I'll bet Sirius Black steers well clear of Hogwarts with those Dementors lurking about. Come on, lads. George is waiting at the shop. Follow me. I had it! Tuna and of course, you can still buy collector's cards from students in the hallway and outside on the grounds. For sale, if you're interested. Damn, 25 beans? That's really cheap. Great, it's a deal. Cheers, Harry. See you later. But, unlike in the last game, you have to reapproach these guys to buy another card. Hey, you three. Looking for any collector's cards? Well, shit, that one's right. four times as expensive. I guess Cheers, it's Harry. more rare. See you later. You collect cards. Okay, this is the third time I've talked to you in the past minute. Obviously, I collect cards. Cheers, Harry. See you later. This is so stupid. In the Chamber of Secrets hey, game, the dialogue box would stay open if you wanted to buy more than one card. Granted, you still had to buy them one at a time, but at least the student you were trading beans with had the goddamn courtesy to not shut down the conversation after the first hey, transaction. Potter. Interested in buying a collector's card? It's weird the camera Sounds panned good. down to the left Bye. that time. Cheers, Harry. See you later. Okay, yeah, so I can approach hey, him from the back, too. Interested in buying a collector's card? I swear I feel congested right now. I'll buy that. There you go, Harry. Oh, you're done now? What are you doing? Alright, guess so. Now that there's no more business to be done, he doesn't give a shit about me. I can't wait to have another go at the Carpe Retractum Challenge. Tag along if you like. No thanks. That's recent history. 
I've seen containers that only require one spellcaster that have given me more beans than that. See, that only required one person. It gave me more, I think. Okay, casting a Depulso spell in those books did something. I heard the faint sound of a lock unlocking behind me in the distance. What the fuck? To see what's behind this portrait. I love finding hidden areas like this. Good thing Fred is so patient. I have no idea. Um, see you two later. Just remembered, I've got to see Professor McGonagall about something. Wonder what that's all about. Hello, Harry. Welcome to our shop. Wow, look at all this stuff. Just walk up to any item that takes your fancy. We'll tell you what's what and how much it costs. Oh, now there's a very special collector's card, Harry. We'll give it to you for free if you can collect all the other cards in the set. Oh gee, I can't now possibly guess which famous person in the Harry Potter card. universe might be on that we'll special collector's card. Harry. You don't have enough cauldron cakes to buy that. Oh, too bad. Let's see here. Oh, I have seven. Not too far off. Sorry, Harry. You don't have enough cauldron cakes to buy Wasn't that. Wasn't that the same picture? Sorry, Harry. You don't have enough cauldron cakes. So there's three that. scrolls of paper here, and they're all the same password Sorry, for the Harry, same portrait. Why? A whole pocket full of Bertie Bott's beans to spend at Fred and George's shop. If you're not here to chat, then why did you stop to talk to me? All I did was bump into you. It's not like I spoke first. Oh, nice card, and a bargain at that. At least, unlike the password good? scrolls, oh, you can see that the collector's cards are different. Absolutely the best chocolate for restoring stamina. You've got a deal. Chocolate frogs are pretty cheap, but Extremely but you still can't store them for later. They just get used immediately instead, so what's the point? Especially when the game often gives you a chest with one or more frogs in it after having to deal with some monsters anyways. Remember, Harry, after this... Mm. Afraid you don't have you know, I really wish characters wouldn't cut each other off like that. Now I have to review the video footage to see what Ron wanted to tell me. Thank fuck this game has subtitles. That was probably an easier solution than fixing the dialogue collisions. Okay, he was talking about Care of Magical Creatures class, but was that even mentioned anywhere in the game before now? If I hadn't played this game before, how would I know what I was supposed to do next? Alright, oh, this fucking guy. Peeves! Ho, ho, ho. Poor Potty and Weasel. They've got no passwords, so they can't use the portrait shorty cuts. Oh, look at this. I've got the passwords right here. This guy just got blocked from leaving the dormitory. You get that paper? Yeah, I'll just try leaving later, I guess. Right. Let's cast together and teach that pest of a poltergeist a lesson. Rick the well, that was easy. He didn't even make a good attempt at trying to dodge the attacks, the let alone retaliate in any way. Let's give it a go. And why do portraits to other sections of the school that all students and faculty have to access need passwords anyways? Passwords for each house's dorm rooms make sense, but fuck. This time for Care of Magical Creatures class. And Hagrid's teaching this year. Um, do either of you know where we're supposed to go? I think the class is down at the paddock. Off the Care of Magical Creatures, are you? So am I. That's great, Neville. We'll go together. Come on, find me. 
So Neville gets to outrun us this time, and I can't resist casting spells at random things just to get a few beans. Oops. You can, you can tell that the spell didn't actually hit the statue correctly because it didn't leave behind an afterglow in the shape of the spell symbol. You know, it would be one thing if the beans always went through your body or were always absorbed on in contact upon an ejection from a chest, but I think it's happened both ways in this game. A harmless bug, of course, but still a weird inconsistency. Neville's teeth remind me too much of my own front teeth. It makes me sad. And just like the castle, the layout of the Hogwarts grounds are totally different in this game. Why would they put a bunch of beans on the window ledges like this? Oh well, I guess I shouldn't complain about it. Whoa, you can see through that girl's skirt and torso from behind. I suppose we ought to get onto class soon. Don't fucking rush me, Ron. See, look, the same thing again with this girl. And more here, too. And there's Hagrid's hut, practically right up against the wall of the castle instead of further down on the grounds. And he's got a pumpkin patch too. I'm sure he won't mind if I destroy his entire garden just so I can get some items to exchange for collector's cards. Yeah, they just grow back. No big deal. Neville might be outrunning us, but he doesn't really strike me as the athletic type. I'm amazed he can sprint so quickly. Actually, is there like a Sonic the Hedgehog spell that lets you run faster? It's probably a stupidly complex incantation like Volatabatur Apudcelaritis Sonus or something. I swear to god, Ron. Care of magical creatures class is just through that gate. Ah! No. Um, and that must be a pixie infestation. Um, when you three have finished dealing with the pixies, care of magical creatures class is this way. I guess Neville is done waiting around. We can explore for a bit, or follow Neville to class. But Hermione, of all people, just suggested that we can skip class, which presumably starts on some sort of a schedule just for the sake of exploring the castle and its grounds. Yeah, I think I'll go to class anyway, as a girl that doesn't take her studies seriously. Neville was just waiting there the whole time? Uh, what's that thing? I hope Hagrid doesn't expect us to touch it. Disgusting creature. <laughs> Welcome to Care of Magical Creatures class. I'll be teaching you this term. I'd like to introduce you to Bookbeak. He's a hippogriff. Today, you'll be learning how to ride him. That's what you she said. <laughs> and give him a bow. You won't have me bowing to that filthy beast. Hello, Bookbeak. There's a good hippogriff. Your goal is to fly through enough bats to beat the top number on the counter. As soon as you're ready, just click the right mouse button to make Beaky fly. Okay, here we go. Oh, fuck no. Shit! Oh, god damn it. Okay, I got it now. I don't know why I initially messed up back there. You still steer with the mouse cursor all the same, yet I somehow fucked up the first couple of rings by missing them. Ladies. 
And why is the score counter outside of the score box? That's fucking cow shit. Kind of like in big rigs over the road racing, but I swear I don't remember it being like that in the past. Maybe it's a Windows 7 glitch, I don't know. So yeah, you're just steering with the mouse and clicking to flap the wings and temporarily gain a bit of altitude. Still not sure how I messed up the beginning, though. That's gonna bug me for like another minute. And that big orange ring signals that's the end of the course. Collector's card. That was really well done, Harry. Come back to the paddock any time you want another go. There's five courses to fly in all, and you can win a collector's card on each of them. Okay, now this is one of my favorite scenes in the game. I bet you're not dangerous at all, are you, you great ugly brute? <laughs> <laughs> Look at me! It's killed me! You're not dying. I need to replay that. So Malfoy just walks up to Buckbeak, thinking he has swag, and then BOOM! Buckbeak just whips Malfoy with his head, and that, and then he's like, I'm dying! And Harry's like, who cares? And Hagrid's like, you're not dying. And then Malfoy's like, oh, okay. And he just gets up and walks away like nothing happened. <laughs> it's it's great. Right. Of course. Madam Palfrey can make cuts in about a second. You can bet Malfoy will make something out of this. <laughs> Harry was very concerned about Hagrid, and with Malfoy playing up his injury, he was worried about Buckwick too. Where'd Hermione go anyway? It's nearly time for Transfiguration class. Um, you two ready for class? Are you all right? What's happened? I'm just a bit tired, that's all. We'd better get up to the first floor, or we'll be late for transfiguration. We could take the first floor portrait shortcut. Or go round by the stairs. You lead the way, Harry. Right. First floor, transfiguration class. Well, instead of going the transgender studies, er, uh, <clears throat> transfiguration class, I'll probably just stop the game here for now. Might as well, since there's a save book here anyways.